Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading. Gemini, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month or the month remaining of August 2020. All right, Gemini's. All right, so what I see here for the majority of you guys, um, I feel almost like you are currently still dealing with, um, this could be an ex-partner, this could be a person that is no longer with you in a relationship. Oftentimes, uh, I see you guys kind of reminiscing or looking to the past, um, but I'll, I'll, though I do want to mention, I do see a new beginning for you guys. Now, this could be with a uh with the with the new person that's coming into your life while others there could be some type of there is some type of energy here of what's the word i'm looking for it's almost like so i have the deception card here and with this card it usually indicates to me that there is something you're not really wanting to see gemini and this could be in regards to the partner the person that you're currently dealing with or it could be from a past relationship like if some of you guys are currently separated you're no longer in a relationship i do see that there was some type of commitment here or some type of for some of you guys it could even it could even be like an engagement um like i said not the majority of you guys some of you guys this could be a commitment that was there present but somehow along the lines i think that you have the let go of control issues. So for some of you guys, there is this need to hold tight to the person that you're with. Um, now, this could be insecurity issues. But for some of you guys, what they're telling me here is that there's almost like a need for you to prove that you're like the man in the relationship. Now, this could be you're a female watching this video um, or a male. It doesn't matter the gender. But I feel like it's like you're the one that wants to be in control or hold the reins in the relationship. And ultimately, that's what creates a lot of imbalances in this partnership or in this relationship. And it comes from insecurity issues. It comes from the past experiences that you have gone through in past relationships uh, because you're having here the is it safe to, for you to love? open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and i think that this comes at a price for you gemini so what i mean by that is for some of you guys it's like you put your love is not unconditional sometimes you put you know it's like it comes at a price uh so what i mean by that it could be that either uh it could be for some of you guys that you try to take the reins and control of the relationship others of you it could be like you want your partner to completely submit to you um now keep in mind it is a general reading so this could be your partner's energy as well uh if you find yourself to be often um the arguments or misunderstandings come from the partner holding on to tight this could be your partner as well but for the majority, I feel that what they're saying here is you got to let go of those control issues. This is something that you have to work through yourself in order to find that balance. Now, I do see the deception card here, but I don't see it as the partner that you're currently dealing with or that you're currently with is being decept uh, deceitful. I don't see it like that. What I do see is that it's you, Gemini, who refuses to see the things that you need to work on in order to make or bring balance to this relationship or to this partnership. Uh, it could be that you are lying to yourself, often deflecting. Uh, when it's issues that we got to work through in relationships, it's easy for us to point the finger and say, well, you, <coughs> excuse me, you messed up in this or you're not doing your part. Um, and then that's the reason why I kind of started, you know, emotionally detaching from you, et cetera, et cetera. 
but what they're telling me here is that something in you gemini there has to be some type of work inner work that needs to happen here because it's almost like like i said you're deflecting you're refusing to take some type of acknowledgement of the part or the role you've played in this relationship now i do see for a lot of you guys you have the soulmate card here uh, so you may actually be dealing with a soul type of connection for those of you guys that were or are currently engaged but there was some type of separation some type of uh, pulling away or perhaps distancing i think that the reason for that is because you have to work on yourself gemini and your partner needs to work on their issues as well because i do see them carrying a lot of like experiences from the past and i think that in this you have the playfulness card but i think that what they're saying here is you guys kind of have forgotten about what it is to embrace that of the innocence uh when it comes to relationships the the innocence the playfulness the flirtatiousness that type of energy and perhaps for you gemini you're often thinking that the people you're dealing with or your partner are often hiding things or keeping things from you uh that instead of being playful instead of being um or embracing you know spontaneity anything like that instead of doing that you often find yourself being put in a, a situation or in a position where you're often questioning the motives of your partner and that's not a way that's not a good way to be in a relationship especially if you're often questioning why they do the things that they do um, so what they're telling you is there needs to be some inner healing now for those of you guys that are single or have been single for a while the same message is here you have to let go of control issues you have to work on yourself in order to be able to find a partner or in order to get yourself in a relationship that is going to be a healthy relationship now for some of you guys a soulmate connection is coming in but like I said, oftentimes people kind of paint the soulmate connection in a very beautiful way. But it so oftentimes it carries very heavy energy. Why? Because we have to work through some issues and they themselves have to work through some issues in, it, in order to come together and be able to balance each other out. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Now the energy is currently influencing you at the moment. We have Saturn, um, which is what i've been expressing in most of the readings a lot of people are currently dealing with saturn energy because we have saturn in the 10th house which is the ruling sign of capricorn and saturn is a very heavy energy especially for other for other uh signs that is not that of capricorn um so saturn is all to do with wisdom discipline structure responsibility so i feel that what they're telling you here is you got to take self acknowledgement of the responsibilities or the part that you've played in past relationships and at this point in time it is important to take those lessons to learn from them to grow from them but not to become bitter gemini you have the fifth the fifth house and you do have playfulness here so the fifth house represents the leo energy the leo energy the fifth house passion this is all to do with entertainment creativity play love affairs passion pleasure all of that so it's almost like what they're telling you is the heaviness of saturn is um currently influencing the lessons that you need to learn in order to grow from this but don't allow it to taint you take those lessons take those responsibilities learn what you need to work on with the fifth house pleasure playfulness uh understanding that when it comes to relationships there has to be a balance an equal balance in everything it's not just about responsibilities or it's not just about the hard work but it's also pleasure it's passion it's that which you desire and really honing into that type of energy uh without forgetting like i said the lessons that were learned in the past okay all right, Geminis, I hope this gives you some type of insight. It gives you some type of understanding, and we will see each other soon. Bye.